Bonjour! Today I'm gonna let you take a little sneak peek at my makeup artist kit while I do one of my favorite activities, depotting, adding new products, and making sure that the storage in my kit is as optimized as possible. I have two full bins like this one of either new products that I'm adding to my kit or of products that I already had in my kit but I need to depot in smaller containers because they take up too much space and I don't need to carry the full container with me on every job. I mostly have liquid products to depot today so I got Got some of these um, empty squeezy bottles from Amazon. I believe these ones are five milliliters and I have some like 30 ml as well. I will put all the links in the bar description down below. And I also got some little containers here to organize them. And I have my best friend, the Dymo. This is so good. These past few months I got a bunch of products that I would like to add to my kit but like I was telling you, most of the time I don't need to bring the full container with me on the jobs. For example, this primer from Benefit, that's gonna last me for a really long time because you only need to apply a really tiny bit per face. So I don't need to carry the full tube with me because if I do that with all my products, my kit is gonna get so heavy and if you are a makeup artist yourself, you know how it's so hard to carry your kit around there is like stairs subway like everything it's one of the makeup artist jobs aspects that no one likes i think so we are always trying to save up some space and some weight in our kit as well by transferring products into smaller containers that's what depotting is it got super super trendy during the first lockdown because everyone was like locked up inside and there was nothing to do so a bunch of makeup artists were posting their like depotting hats on social medias and it really became a thing like there is companies now only selling um, products and tools to depot and to make the makeup artist kit as minimalist as possible that's something that I find super relaxing usually I just put on a show and I do it for like a whole afternoon so I thought I would do it with you so you can see my process and I can also walk you through some of my favorite products that I have in my kit basically we are starting with these two um, it's very heavy and we are gonna try to make it as condensed as possible and hopefully they can all fit into my kit. In case you don't know me, my name is Justine. I'm a makeup artist from France but I now live in Canada and I started very recently to make videos in English here. So if you want to support me, please give me a follow, give me a like. I will also put my Instagram just right here so you can go check out my account. Uh, you can see my work as a makeup artist and you can see what I'm up to. All right. Let's do it! So before we start, I'm just going to sanitize um, the area where I'm going to be working on. I'm going to put some gloves on as well. And I'm going to sanitize all the little containers that I'm going to use when depotting. And to do that, I'm just using some 70% uh, alcohol that I transferred into a spray bottle. I'm gonna start with everything that's like skincare, oils, primer, everything that's here to um, prep the skin before starting to apply the makeup. I have the Duraline from Inglot. If you don't know that thing, this is amazing. So basically it turns, it transforms your makeup products. So for example, if you are adding a few drops to an eyeshadow, it can turn it into a liner and it can also turn any of your makeup in waterproof. So you can add a few drops in your mascara, you can add some to your liquid lipstick, for example, and they will be super, super long lasting. So this is definitely a kit staple for many makeup artists because it's a really small product and i only need 
a couple of drops per job when I'm using it. I'm going to transfer it into one of the smallest squeezy bottles, the 5 milliliters ones. Then I have this Ilu illuminating, illumina illuminating. Then I have this illuminating drops that I got from a drugstore if you're in Canada from Shoppers last summer and they are amazing it was only ten dollars and it's one of my favorite glowy products now same thing i only need to transfer it into one of the smaller squeezy bottle because i only use it once in a while i have the beauty oil from danisa myricks as well same amazing product I'm also going to depot these two things. So I have the professional from Benefit, the hydrating primer that I love using on the dr my dryer clients. As well as the stroke cream from MAC that I love using as a primer when I want a super like glowy and dewy look. And I also repurchased the Embryolis, the La Crème Concentrée. Same, you can find it in almost every makeup artist kit because it's an amazing base to start building a makeup on. It leaves the skin so natural and glowy. I love it, especially on drier skins. This is amazing. You can use it for so many different things, like as a mask at night, for example, if your skin is like really dry or if you were wearing a lot of makeup during the day, for example, like after doing prosthetics or something like that. This will like really repair your skin or if you have a dry patch, for example, you can apply some of this directly on the patch, leave it for like 10 minutes and the skin would look already so much better. So it's just a good staple product that, that does a lot. Also, I love the smell of it. It just reminds me of when I was in makeup school. So every time I'm applying it, I'm like, Oh, so nostalgic. <laughs> I was always depotting my Embryolis in one of these like little towers. So if you can see, that's where it used to live. I have the Embryolis matte as well for when I have a client with an oilier skin. And I also have an eye cream. But I found that this is actually not so practical. First, because the lids keep breaking. So I got these ones from Amazon. Probably I could buy a better quality one, but I just don't love it. So I'm gonna try to depot it in one of the bigger squeezy bottles. I'm hoping it's gonna work and it's gonna be more hygienic because I can just like squeeze it on my little like Mel palette that I use for makeup applications. And I don't have to touch it with my spatula or anything. So it might be better. Let's see if it actually works. And I also have these two makeup remover that I previously depotted in these bottles, but I just find them still too big. Like depending on the job, I don't need that much. Like if I only have one talent or one actor or model during the day, who's gonna use all this makeup remover? So I'm gonna keep this one for when I have uh, bigger jobs with more models, but I'm also going to transfer some into these tiny bottles for when I have smaller jobs. So this one is just a basic eye remover that's made for waterproof makeup. And the other one is Bioderma, the pink one. And I also have the high glass from NYX, which is a face primer that's like very shiny. I love using it for like highlighter to mix with my foundations to get a more glowy look, to apply it as a primer. I also apply it on the body sometimes. So great, great product.
Next up, we have the foundations. So as you can imagine, that's probably what's taking the most space in my kit right now because I need a bunch of different shades and different finishes. So just to run through um, what I use the most, I have almost the full range of the Face Atelier. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this is my holy grail. Like, I could not do this job without this product. Love it. Just honestly, just try it. Try it. You have to try it. They have the most natural finish. It's very skin-like. Um, they are buildable, so you can get a good coverage. Sometimes I don't even have to use concealer on top of that. I don't remember if they are fully waterproof or not, but they are really, really long-lasting and they are smudge-proof. So it's really amazing when you're a makeup artist and you work on like all different kinds of sets. And they definitely have more of a glowy finish. So I have about 10 shades of this one, um, the Ultra Foundation Pro. I also have a few of the shade adjusters, so that helps you customize um, your foundation to the exact color of your model. So I have this one that's like a dark orange, I have one that's like completely white, I have one that's like bright pink. I have a few of the Dior Backstage, so I haven't tried them yet, but I've heard so many good things about it, so I can't wait to take them on set and try them out. And I also have a few of the Airbrush Flawless from Charlotte Tilbury. This is so heavy, like there's no way I'm carrying that in my kit, no way. Especially when you need like multiple shades. So I can't wait to depot them and actually start using them on set. <laughs> And I have a few other knickknacks, for example, the amazing Laura Mercier translucent powder that I'm transferring again into a squeezy bottle. That's what I do with my loose powders. Guys, it changed my life. This is the best hack ever. And that's obviously super heavy. I would never need this much in my kit. So one of the small bottles is just perfect. I also have the new blush from Hourglass that I've actually never used. I like the format, but same, I don't need a lot. So I might depot some into one of the, the little like uh, magnetic pens and then add it to my lipstick palette, I guess it makes sense. So I can keep like creams with creams. And I also have a few powders. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to cover this in this video because I feel like it's gonna be just too long. But I have a very bright uh, blush that looks absolutely beautiful. I have this one from Face Atelier as well. And I also have this banana powder that I received in a box. And I actually don't have any pressed banana powders in my kit. So I thought I might depot it and add it to a palette. It's always good to have. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see a depotting video that's more like focused on powders, especially palettes, like how to um, take them off of the actual palette and build your own magnetic palette. That's what I do with all my eyeshadows, blush, just so I can create my own palette with only the shades that I want and that I need. 
All right, so it's now been a little bit more than three hours and a half and I'm finally done. So it's a little bit time consuming for sure, but honestly, it's just so worth it. So I went from these two bins to these three boxes. So it's a major difference. In one of the box, I put everything that's like primer and skincare. Then I did a box with only the face atelier foundations because I have so many and that's the one I'm using the most. And then I have another box for other brands of foundation where I still have a bunch of space to add more products. This is the most satisfying thing ever and next time I will go on a job and I have to carry my kids, I will thank myself forever for doing that. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this type of content. Um, just to see the behind the scene of being a makeup artist. I will try to do more videos like that. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see um, my kit a little bit more in detail so I can show you everything that I carry and how it's organized. And yeah, thank you for watching. Take care and I will see you soon. Peace out.